মুসলিমস আসাম ডিয়ার অডিয়েন্স The penetration of Muslims into Assam from 12th century AD is one of the important chapters in the history of Assamese society. Assamese Muslims, like other Muslims in India, reflect significant variations in terms of culture, caste, class, language, occupation, geographical distribution and ideology. which all become the basic components for the formation of border Islamist society. Various Muslims in Wazam's propagation and conversion, import of Muslims, artisans and educated men by the Ahom rulers. Migrations and immigrations are the important factors for the origin and growth of Muslim population in Assam. Dear audience, The Muslim population in Assam is scattered in all the districts of Assam with a high population of 70.45% of the total population in Dhubri district and the lowest density of 1.48% of the total population in Dhimari district. My dear audience, the Muslims of Assam have been playing a very significant and positive role in the formation and development of Assamese society. in their culture from ancient time till today being integrated by the various socio economic and cultural factors they spread over the length and breadth of the state particularly in brahmaputra valley which is the homeland of assamese culture dear audience the muslim is the largest minority group in assam with a strength of 31% of the total population of assam The contemporary Assamese society is fundamentally a multi-religious, multi-racial, multi-caste, multi-class and dominantly unilingual, composite and a large secular society. The formation of Muslim society in Assam can clearly trace back to the last decade of the 12th century. Since then, this community has been evolved gradually over a very long stretch of the time. Dear audience, towards the close of the 12th century, Muhammad ibn Bakhtiyar Khilji, the founder of Salaf dynasty in India, invaded Assam in 1206 AD. According to Tabqat e Nasri, it was during this time that Assam for the first time came in contact with Muslims. Thereafter, began a series of Muslims invasion over a period of 475 years, which eventually culminated in the Battle of Itakhuli that was fought between Ahom and Mughal in 16. Although Muhammad ibn Bakhtiyar Khilji was defeated severely, but it can be presumed from that fact that some of the Muslims who survived their lives prefer to stay in Assam instead of going back with their defeated general. My dear audience, they may be regarded as the first batch of Muslims who decided to stay in Assam even before the advent of a home to this land. Muhammad ibn Bakhtiyar Khilji was guided to Assam by a local chief of this land, Muhammad Ali Maj. It indicated that from this time and much earlier to it, the Muslims had established contact with Assam. A huge section had accepted this region as their homeland. 
it is depicted in the account of Minhajuddin that the invasion of Malik Yuzbuk Tugril Khan in 1256-57 was mainly inspired by the desire of spreading the Islamic faith. It is also recorded that the Malik Yuzbuk Tugril Khan erected a mosque on the soil of the country celebrating his victory. My dear audience, many Muslim saints had entered Assam. Some of them came with invading army at different historical times. Some of them settled in the country while others might have returned after a short stay. Shah Miran, popularly known as Azan Pir, was one of the saints who came to Assam in 1630 and through the preaching of him, a huge section of the indigenous population was converted into Islam. My dear audience, but at present, the socio-religious and economic condition of Muslims in Assam is in sorest need to pay, pay attention to us. They are deliberately victimized and tortured in various fields. Planfully, they are pushed to poverty, which ultimately leads to conversion of religion. Moreover, Christian missionaries spreading their nets and trying their best to draw, particularly the poor Muslims, to them. Apart from these mighty problems, the most irony is that the Muslims in Assam who colonized its land are being blamed with the illegal Bangladeshi. All parties yell in chorus and solid body, and sometimes the newspapers splash to drive them away from Assam, which is their own motherland. My dear audience, today Muslims are not safe, particularly in Lower Assam, in Dhubri, Bangai Gaon, and Kokrajha district. In this critical juncture, they find no humanitarians to pay attention to us. So it's my humble request to the conscious and prominent educationist to pay an urgent attention towards the Muslims of that remote state of the country. Here I conclude my topic. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. A profound contribution to the domain of thoughts. Eastern Crescent. Alternative Media People's Choice For subscription and other details please contact us on 022-2677-1618 or 022-2679-8538 You may also log on to www.easterncrescent.in